talk about the, the three problems that your customers typically have. Uh, with safes, uh, a lot of times there'll be somebody in the family that dies and a child or one of the relatives has been put in charge of the estate and there's no copy of the combination. Yeah, nobody knows how to get in. So I get called in to open the safe and set it up where they can reuse it again. Okay. Continue using it. A lot of times the will is going to be in the safe or the, the documents that they need. Are the important stuff safe. is in the safe and without right. getting in there we, we can't do it. Okay, so people that can't get into their safe obviously. And um, I have trustees from the state that are in charge of, of, an, of an estate of a, a person that's deceased. And so I come in and rekey the home and open the safe and get it set up to use so that the estate can be uh, probated. Okay, what are some of the other problems that you solve? Um, if somebody has been broken in and they want to know how to physically increase the security because they realize how insecure most homes are nowadays. Yeah, it's a home invasion the prevention. They, right, so I do a lot of preventive work as well as after the fact of putting it in additional hardware that just makes it a lot harder for somebody to be uh, burglarized or invaded. Well, what about servicing safes? Is that something that you get involved in? Frequently, especially in restaurants, because restaurants have airborne dust and dirt and grease, and that grease and dust form a slurry, and what happens is you got wheels in there in your wheel pack, and if you get dust and dirt in between, when one wheel is moving, it moves another wheel when it's not supposed to move. So it's supposed to be a dry friction lock. So if, if both of those wheels move at the same time when this one's supposed to be parked, you're locked out. You okay. can't open your safe. So then it takes somebody like me to be able to come and open it and get it back in service. Right, so people that can't do it, but also people that can't get into the safe that they have for a variety of different reasons, mm -hmm. servicing those safes to make sure they continue to work and then the, the uh, uh, burglary prevention, home invasion prevention type, type service. That's, that's really just cool. an additional thing that I do beyond what most locksmiths do.